Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this hair look. So all I did was use a curling iron and a few of my hair products. This is definitely a super beginner friendly hairstyle. I just walk you through each step as I'm doing it. I tell you why I'm doing everything, share my favorite products, the tips and tricks I've learned over the years, and yeah, let's get into it. The tools that I use are a one and a half inch curling iron. This one is from Hot Tools, super affordable. I don't think you need expensive styling tools. They really don't make a difference for you. This goes up to 430 degrees, but you can turn it all the way down to 280. So, I mean, you have plenty of heat range on this one and it just works. I mean, there's a reason why so many hairstylists use these. And then next you're gonna need two hair clips. So I like a small one and a big one. And as we get into the video, I will show you why I use each one. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab your hairspray. I tend to prefer flexible hold hairsprays over strong hold, although this is the Moroccan oil one that I've been using. This is a huge bottle of it. I've had this probably for seven months now, and I'm not even halfway through. But this one, they're calling it strong finish, weightless, no sticky residue, natural look. And this one works just fine. It doesn't look really stiff in your hair. So if you need a hairspray recommendation, I do like this one. Now, if you want to go for big volume, you're going to use the Unite Busta Finishing Hairspray. This stuff will make your hair so big. I mean, it's amazing. It really is one of the best volumizing hairsprays I have ever tried. I'm not using that one today, but... I will link everything I use in the show notes, so if you guys want to use the exact same products that I'm using, feel free. I will link them all there. And then last, just grab your hairbrush. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so first you're going to grab your big clip, and you're going to grab the majority of your hair and clip it up. I know that some people don't do this when they curl their hair and they can somehow curl it all when it's down. I don't know if I just have way too much hair for that or if I just suck at curling my hair, but if you are a super beginner, try by method. It will make curling your hair so much easier because you're not gonna leave any hair out. Like it's kind of foolproof to do it this way. Okay, so you grab the clamp and you're gonna clamp where it's like that and then you curl away from your face. And now with this style, you're going to want to capture the ends. We're not doing beachy waves today. We're doing just really beautiful, refined, classic looking curls. And so you want to make sure you grab all of the hair in the clamp. So this is what it should look like up close. Like there's no little ends sticking out. And then release. And when you release, you just slowly release the clamp as you're going down your head. And now you just have your first really easy basic curl. And we're gonna repeat this basically up your entire head. And so again, you clamp it and curl away from your face. Now when you're releasing the clamp, it's gonna help the curling iron glide down your hair so you're not pulling your hair out as you're moving the curling iron down to grab all the way to the ends. I have really thick, coarse hair, so I have to hold the curling iron on my hair just a tad bit longer. But if you have really fine hair, you don't have to hold it as long. Okay, and I like to hairspray as I move up my head. So grab your hair. This has been doing this lately. There we go. And then just spray. This is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Finish Strong. I'm not that picky with hairspray. I am trying to get more into clean beauty and I have yet to find a clean hairspray that I like. So I haven't switched to that yet, but I tried the Innersense one and I just did not like it for my hair. Okay, so we're gonna move up our head now. So same thing, you're gonna just leave out a good amount of hair, not too much, not too little. You'll see what works for you. I can usually do my whole head in four layers. And then you're gonna clip this part off and then you separate the hair in the back. And then brush it out. You'll kind of learn how much hair you can grab in the curling iron at a time. For me, I can't grab too much because it just doesn't heat my hair the way it needs to and it won't hold the curl as well. 
Okay, and then something else I want to mention is that the temperature you should have your curling iron on. This will vary depending on how thick and coarse and just so many factors of what your hair is. Because my hair is super, super thick, very coarse strands, I can go up to the highest temperature. But as I move up to the top of my head, I turn it down because this hair is just more bleached and it's more compromised. And so I don't want to risk damaging that hair as much. And then you're going to hold it and release two beautiful curls. Okay, and then you brush it out and repeat on this side. So a trick if you want to get really big, bouncy, voluminous hair, you can curl the same method and then just use a volumizing spray like the Unite. This is the Boost of Finishing Hairspray. But I actually prefer to not use volumizing hairspray in my hair because I usually curl my hair on day two and I don't like how volumizing products feel in my hair. I like my hair to feel like there's nothing in it. So I'm really picky. <laughs> And the Busta definitely feels like you have product in your hair, but it makes your hair so voluminous. Like, as soon as you spray it in, you will notice a difference. I'll make another video where I show you what that looks like in my hair. I don't want to have that in my hair today, so I will not be using that. And then go back in and spray. Okay, now... We're just gonna do the next level. And you know what? I am gonna show you my method for creating the voluminous looks, just so you know what to do if you wanna try it on your whole head. I don't do this every time. I only do this when I really want my hair to look big. And you can do this with volumizing hairspray and your hair is gonna look like you are a 90s supermodel, or you can do it with regular hairspray and your hair will still hold that volume. It just won't be quite as big. So, we're grabbing the next section and hold on one sec. Let me just get all this situated. Ow. Sometimes the bottom clip like pulls my hair. I, I shouldn't say sometimes, it's like most of the time. It's like the way that I grab it onto my hair, it pulls my hair, I don't know why. Okay, now if you're trying to get the big volume, you know how every other time you clamp it and you go up like that? This time you're gonna turn the curling iron so the clamp is in the back and you're gonna grab your hair and turn it towards your face. So the other way we turn it away from your face, now we're turning towards your face. So the reason you wanna do it this way is because it's going to prevent your hair from falling in on itself and just looking like really sleek, refined curls because the hair literally cannot, like the patterns don't match. And so by doing it this way, it's going to create an extra layer that's just gonna make your hair look more voluminous. Okay, now there's a couple ways that you could do this method. You could do every other layer as you work up your head. So you do one, where it's pointing backwards, you can do one where it's pointing forwards, the next one where it's pointing backwards, or you can do it in each layer and just switch off between each one. So like this one I did forward, and now this one I'm gonna go backwards. And what that's gonna do, same thing, it's just gonna create more volume, or I guess more chance for volume as you work up your hair. Now as you move up your head, you want to make sure that you hold the curling iron closer to the root. For me, if I did that on the bottom of my head, like from the lower half of the layers, it wouldn't work. But as you get closer to the top, you do want to pull the curling iron as close to your scalp. You don't want to burn yourself, but this is going to help those curls go up higher because otherwise you just have the curl at the bottom. You want to make sure that you have them up top as well. Does that make sense? So like, do you see how close I'm holding the curling iron to my scalp right here? That's gonna help that curl start higher up. So it's gonna give you more volume, but it's also just gonna start the curl up higher. On the lower half of my head, I could hold it all the way up to my scalp, burn the crap out of my scalp, and it would do nothing because the weight of my hair just will release those curls. For some people, their hair can hold a curl really well. That's not the case for my hair. <laughs> and so you just kinda learn what works for you. I've been doing this method 
for 16 years now and I've experimented a little bit and I just find this is what I like. It works the best for me. It's the easiest. It's the fastest. I'm not going to do the voluminous method right now. I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So what I mean about getting it close to your scalp is you see how close the curling iron is to my scalp. That is what you want to keep those curls moving up. And so start it as close as you can and then slowly release the clamp to move the curling iron down to get all the way into the base of your hair. See how it just adds a little bit of curl up here, but really it's not very much. It's always hard to record into the camera because I have no clue what my hair is doing. So I have a mirror over here. That's what I keep looking at because I can't see anything in this tiny little screen I have right here. Okay, that should be better. Oh yeah, much better. Now, another thing with curling your hair is if you feel like, wow, I hate that curl. That one is way too ringletty. I'm going to look like crap. I don't want it to look like that. Do not fret. We didn't hairspray yet. Nothing happened yet. It's still hot. If you really, really hate it, which I highly doubt you will hate any curl with a one and a half inch curling iron. I feel like this is the most forgiving. It's just the curls will release to be a beautiful loose curl, but let's say you hate it. Just run your fingers through it or you can get your fingers wet if you really, really hate it. That's just going to release the curl a little bit, but I recommend waiting until the very end before you start messing with your curls. You will, I'll show you what I mean. Your curls will sort themselves out. Okay, so like here's a good example. You see how close the curling iron is to my scalp? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna create more volume up top. Spray. Now we are on the last layer. And some girls do this a certain way. I do it the same exact way. I part my hair where I want it parted. And the reason I do that is because some girls can have this cute fringe in the front. It drives me crazy. I'm not one of those people that can handle bangs. I don't like hair hanging in my face. I always tuck my hair behind my ears. I try different methods and it always ends up behind my ears because it just drives me crazy. And I also think I just don't have, oops, getting ahead of myself. I don't have a big forehead. And so I think it just hangs down too much in my face. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm nuts, but it just drives me crazy. So we're gonna just do this one more time. Look how pretty this is looking already. Okay, so last round. Okay, now this one, all I recommend doing, you wanna brush your hair out and then part your hair where you like it. So for me, I like it a little bit, not centered, but just a tad bit over this way. And we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing. So it's honestly the easiest way to curl your hair. Like you cannot, mess this up. So I have slight layers in my hair. So sometimes getting up to the top, it makes it a little bit harder to hold all the hair in at once. If that's the case, just add in an extra layer as you're curling. So like one more right on the top. That might just make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, now some people freak out about the front layer. I'm telling you, I do it exactly the same. Like there's nothing special or unique that we're doing here. If you'd like to have more volume at your root or if you'd like to have your hair curled in a different way, let me know in the comments below. I am happy to do a tutorial and show you how to get that look. I'm not doing that today because I don't want that look today. But it's not hard. It just, there's a little bit different method. Ooh, I don't like that. So the top layer, if you have any kinks in your hair, you do want to kind of get the curling iron to squeeze them out. So try to brush them out first and then get the curling iron right up to the root. And that is going to help you get them all out or at least most of them. <laughs> because I curl my hair on day two, I will sometimes have kinks and it's like, whatever. The rest of my hair is curled too. The reason I do it on day two is because I don't want to do all that heat damage on my hair. I usually day one, it's like I air dry it or I let it air dry until 80% and then blow dry it at the very, very end. And that will just help bump up my blonde. And it also makes my hair look a lot smoother. And I also, okay, there's three reasons. It makes your hair not get as oily as fast. So if you use a little heat on your hair as it's drying, it will help with the oil production. My hair gets really oily. I usually wash it on day three or four just because I can't stand it. And I'm not the biggest fan of dry shampoo. Like I just, 
I think dry shampoo is causing everyone's hair issues. Everyone's talking about hair loss, hair breakage, their hair doesn't grow in like they used to. What changed really? I think it's dry shampoo usage. I think people use it way too much. So you spray, I mean, think about it. I have friends that spray it on their hair. The day they get out of the shower, they blow dry their hair so they're heat treating it and then they're spraying with dry shampoo. And yeah, you can go longer between washes, but that means that your hair is never breathing. You're never giving it a chance to just experience life without being clogged down with dry shampoo. So if you're one of those people that do that and you're finding that you're not liking how your hair is looking or feeling, stop doing that. I recommend just cutting out dry shampoo completely or you can use ones that are just super natural like you can use cornstarch or just really basic ingredients, arrowroot powder if you're allergic to corn, things like that that will absorb the oil and not clog. I have opinions. I have lots of opinions on what we've been doing to ourselves and our beauty routines. But okay, so this is the finished look and now we're going to spray everything together. Moroccan oil smells so good. It's like my favorite fragrance. Okay, so this is just one and a half inch curling iron, the most basic way you can possibly curl your hair without brushing it out. This is the amount of volume that you'll get. I'll show you up close. Okay, now if you don't like the super defined curl look, I know people that will grab a hairbrush and brush it through right away. I've tried that, it does not work for my hair. It just makes it look kind of frizzy. And so I never do that. What I will do instead is just run my fingers through my hair. And so it's breaking up the curls. They don't look quite as defined, but it's still gonna make them look really shiny and beautiful. Okay, now this is after you do that. Just a little bit looser curl, but you could totally leave your curl the other way and it'd be fine. This is what it looks like from the back. Okay, now I have a few more secrets. One is the Color Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. If your hair is dry, if it looks dull, if you just find that it doesn't look as vibrant as you want it to, you have to get this stuff. It will make your hair look so shiny and it doesn't make your hair look greasy. So even if you accidentally spray it towards the roots, which I don't recommend doing, you don't need to do that, but it's not gonna make your hair look instantly oily. So what I do is I hold it kind of far away and then just spray a very light layer on it. And it's not glittery, it's not like tacky looking. It just gives your hair the most beautiful sheen. So if you have flyaways, those are like those little hairs that stick up here, which everyone has flyaways. I think it's impossible to not have them. This stick will change your life. So you don't want to use this too often. And if you are acne prone, you definitely want to not have this right on your face because it will make you break out. Like this absolutely 100% will make you break out. But for the ones in the back, like I'll just use it lightly on my part and it just flattens everything down. That's better. I'm not going hard with this today because I want my hair to last at least two more days. But if you are doing a slicked back bun, if you're doing a super sleek style where you want zero flyaways, this stuff will change your life. I've used clear mascara. I used hairspray. I try everything. I have a ton of flyaways and this works the best. But if you're super, super acne prone, I would just be very wary on how you use it. Like maybe only use it the day you were going to wash your hair at night right before bed or wear a headband or something. Just keep it off of your face or even just wash this part out before you go to bed because <laughs> trust me, you will break out. Okay, and then last, I'm gonna recommend the IGK Good Behavior Spray. This is a spirulina protein smoothing spray. And it's like, they say it's a keratin-like treatment in a can. It gives you 24 hour frizz control. I have friends that swear by this stuff they use it every single time they wash their hair and it gives them a sleek blowout. I already have it stick straight hair, so I only use this when I really want my hair to look perfect. I didn't use it this wash because I actually, I think that this is the old bottle. I don't use it very often, but I know whenever I talk about this, I get a bazillion messages about how it changed their life. People with frizzy hair, people who 
can't go out in the humidity because their hair just gets bigger, this will change your life. It's like, it, it's like a Brazilian blowout in a can and it lasts for days in your hair. It makes your hair look super shiny, it's super perfect. So if you're using this, you don't need this because it makes your hair look so shiny. And then I spray this on when my hair is wet as I'm blow drying it. So not on super wet hair, but like, like I said, I let my hair air dry for as long as I possibly can before I put heat on it and then spray this on. If you can't wait that long, just spray this on your hair after you take it out of the towel. And then I always do my hair in sections whether I'm blow drying or whether I am curling. And so as I'm going up my head, I just spray more and more. The reason I like to part my hair where I naturally part it is because this is where it's gonna end up. And then throughout the day, usually what I'll do is I'll push my hair behind my ears <laughs> like this, like it always ends up behind my ears. But something else you can do is just flip your hair back and forward. So like, I mean, you can create so many styles. If you keep your part more towards the middle, this is gonna give you a lot of versatility in how you style your hair. But usually I'm somewhere right around here and then I just let my hair do its thing and I like to tuck it, but you can style however you like to style. So those are all of my current hair favorites for creating this really easy, beautiful, sleek, curled look. It's seriously so easy to do and if you guys have any questions or if you use my same method or if you have any tips or tricks, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a follow and a like. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.